For the number of people who watch my videos, I get a surprising amount of people who ask what I use to edit. I'm also trying to get my friend David to stop using iMovie. He has so much potential. By the way, highly recommend you check out his organ vlog. I used Windows Movie Maker for years before I finally took the time to upgrade, so I know what it's like, but once I did it, it was so much easier to do the things I wanted. Well, what editing software do you use? I use HitFilm Express. You can download it for free for both PC and Mac. You just have to make an account and activate it by signing in. Why do you use it? There are plenty of editors out there, but this one is free and it allows multiple video and audio timelines compared to an all-in-one track like iMovie. I've downloaded it, now what? I know, I know, it's very overwhelming, but I'm going to be going over all these things in HitFilm. If you're here for music or color correcting, I'm not your gal. So the first beast we are tackling is the bare minimum to get to export. To start a new project, let's click New and OK. When you add clips in, it'll automatically adjust to those dimensions so you don't have to worry about putting in the correct ones. In the editor, we have four quadrants. If you ever mess up your workspace, you can always reset it at the top with Windows, Workspaces, and Reset Workspace. In Quad 3, under the Media tab, click Import, which will open up your File Explorer, and that's where you'll find all your imported clips and photos. Drag your clips into Quad 4, your editor. You can zoom in and out of the timeline with Shift or Command, Scroll, or with this bar. Drag the end of a clip to cut it. You can also drag your playhead to where you want to cut and use this shortcut to cut. This is my most used shortcut, so memorize this. And then you can play what you've edited by hitting the play button or spacebar. So you want to add text. In quad two, your viewer, click the A, type whatever you want. You can drag the text wherever. Quad three under the tab text is where you'll change the font and size and bold it or whatever you want to do. Then in the timeline, you can change how long you want it or align it with a video clip. Now click export. It'll immediately start exporting in quad two and save to a specific location. And congratulations, you've used it film. The more timelines, the more fun we can have. To create a track, right click on video or audio. You can add as many tracks as you want and this helps you overlay footage. You can also delete and rename tracks here. You can click this rectangle and it'll let you mask or hide away part of a clip. You can also resize a clip with shift or command drag. So with multiple tracks, you can separate the video and audio of one clip so they can be independent of each other. You can do that by unlinking with this shortcut. This is my second and last most used shortcut, but write this one down too. So now you can start the sound of one video clip before the video even plays, and I love to do this because it really blends all the clips together. You could also use the audio of a speaking or narrative clip over a different clip. Another upgrade from a basic video editor is that you can change the audio levels by shift or command, click, and now you can get like a gradual crescendo instead of harsh stops to your music or voiceovers. These are the bonus things I love to add to a video. There are a whole bunch of effects you can look through and use. My favorites to use are brightness and contrast because I don't know how to color correct and the video transition push. To use an effect, just drag it onto a clip in your timeline, then go to the tab controls to change the specs. All right, let's talk about this thing called composite shots. Composite shots are important if you want to animate your video elements. So in quad two under the tab media, you can click composite shot at the bottom and it'll launch a whole new timeline tab where you can compile different clips and then use that whole composite shot in your main timeline. So drop down these two arrows. If we want this to grow in size, let's select scale. A little notation will pop up letting us know at this point in time, it will be at 100%. So let's move our cursor down a little and hold the percentage and drag it to the left or right to see it shrink and grow. You can see it made another notation that, hey, 
we want this size at this other point in time. And then you can do the same thing with position. With position, you get an X and Y coordinate based in pixels and the center is zero comma zero. So by adjusting the size and position of things, you can kind of get things to move around. I can't believe we made it. I hope this inspired you or encouraged you or taught you something new. Hit a like so you remember to refer back to this video. And seriously, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Bye.